What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Clever's Multiverse. And damn, yo, this has been a week for me. Because let me tell you, I usually don't get everything I want. You know, I'm usually the guy that's lucky to get one, maybe two out the wave. You know, I never luck out the way I've been lucking out this week. And yeah, I'm the one who told you guys as soon as this dropped on my page about three months ago when these were first announced that they were coming out. I gave you the pre-order dates and I gave you everything. But you already know in 2024 trying to get a pre-order it's like yo marvel legends are the new jordans you know you gotta hit the lottery just to be able to give them your money and that's what it's turned into these days so yeah i'm super hyped that i got my hands on these three plus the ghost rider video i did that one a few days ago if you haven't seen it already go ahead and go check that out and today i was really confused i was thinking to myself like damn well which one of these am i gonna open in my brain i was gonna keep marvel's warbird closed probably in the box i am thinking about doing an x-men versus avengers shelf where my x-men body all of the avengers and i was gonna use her like for rogue to take up powers and that's what I was going to use her for. But I was going to keep her in the box until then. Because I don't think I'm going to do that anytime soon. I've been debating it. But Superior Spider-Man and Wolverine. Now, those are two different ones. If you watched my review before, I was thinking about opting out on Wolverine. But Superior Spider-Man was definitely a go. And I was going to come home today. And I was going to open Superior Spider-Man. But then I was thinking, like, damn, all three of these, which one should I do? So I put a poll out for YouTube. And I said, yo, which one? Do you guys want to see me review next? And guess who won? Marvel's Warbird. Yo, I would have never guessed. I would have never guessed. I really thought Superior Spider-Man was going to take it. And if not, I thought it was going to be Wolverine. And in the beginning, Superior Spider-Man did have it. But by the time I clocked out and came home, he was in last place. So yeah, we're going to go ahead today with Marvel's Warbird. here we go marvel's warbird front of the box and i know i'm in the minority i'm one of the only few that likes these marvel legend boxes but yo i really appreciate these boxes if i would have had these like this from the beginning my whole closet would have been symmetrical but this is what's going on with the front and here we are with the back and you guys can't tell me that these boxes in the back the artwork is 100 times better than it used to be before i mean i really appreciate these i've never seen a marvel's warbird or miss marvel uh figure because i don't have the toy biz one but yo i like this artwork a lot the side right here is kind of plain jane just like the ghost rider box and on the right side we have some more artwork which is basically a continuation of what happens on the back and that's what we got going on so let's open this bad boy up or excuse me bad girl up and see what's going on and here we are in the flesh with miss marvel or marvel's warbird whatever it is that you want to call it today this is how she is fresh out the box she comes with an extra set of hands which is basically hands that we've seen before. It does come with an extra head sculpt and it has some swirly effects, which we've also seen before, but not for nothing. I do appreciate this figure for a couple of reasons and we're gonna break that down really fast. But first, let's take a look at the accessories. So this would be the head sculpt that comes stock with it already. I do like the face. I, I'm not mad at it at all. There are times where I get a couple of head sculpts and I'm like, trash, trash, I'm only staying with this one. Both of these don't bother me at all. There's only one slight difference that I could tell besides the hair, and we'll break that down. But look at the mask. I really like the mask because the way the mask breaks down is skinnier around the eyes. So it makes you question, like, well, what kind of expression am I trying to put on? Kind of like when Spider-Man, you know, opens his eyes or closes them or whatever the case is. So I like that they give us that. Let's see what the other one looks like. So this is the second head sculpt that it comes with. And I kind of like this one a little bit better because I like it when it's fatter around the eyes. It kind of gives it more like of a black cat kind of vibe going to it and for the compare contrast that's the skinny one again and those are the fatter ones i like both of these head sculpts to be honest with you i mean either way you go you really can't be mad this one does have the hair swinging more to the right the other one has it more like going down but they're both very nice head sculpts i mean i'm not mad at either one of these like i've said i've bought head sculpts before with figures that i'm like oh this one sucks but not this one. She does come with these swirly effects, which we've seen way too often. I mean, they've come with everybody, Scarlet Witch, or off the top of my head. Uh, I've seen these a million times. But they're dope because I do like the color. So that's something different for me. And these do vibe off with Miss Marvel. So I'm not mad at these at all. I mean, I'm never going to be mad at accessories. I would rather get a repeat accessory before they just don't give me anything. She comes with the two fisted hands, which is like mandatory for all characters because they have to fight. So yeah, two closed fists right there. And then she comes with a pair of open hands. But these open hands are not exactly the same. So the one on the left is like a, almost a complete open hand. And the one on the right is like kind of sort of maybe 
It's kind of like squeezing in just a little bit, but it makes it look like maybe she's grabbing the air or using some powers or something like that. But they're not exact. Like, you know, Spider-Man comes with two exact. These two are not exact. OK, so what are my thoughts regarding this figure now that I have her open? Well, I can tell you this much. There's nothing really here that I haven't seen done before. But at the same time, I'm not mad at this figure at all because some things were done better. So let's talk about that. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but since the beginning of 2024, a lot of the figures, and I want to say starting with the X-Men 9-7 or the Spider-Man wave, I forgot which one that was, the one that came with Scarlet Spider, um, starting with those waves, I felt like there was a difference in the plastic that they were making. It was a lot more durable, and I feel like the joints were moving a lot easier. In comparison, just before those figures were released, we had the Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland. And those legs were snapping like toothpicks. I mean, those felt like they were rushed. The plastic was hard. It was different. It just felt like, I don't know, lackluster. Immediately after that wave, things started getting a lot better for Marvel Legends, as far as I'm concerned, because every single review I did... I was like, whoa, they are stepping it up. These joints are moving a lot better. I don't know if you can see this, but it is super clean, super crisp. It doesn't feel like, oh, I got to get a blow dryer. I got to be a hairstylist now because I buy figures. It doesn't give you that type of vibe, which I really like. I also like on female figures, the legs are usually very suspect. The legs and the feet are the worst. It's hard to get them to stand up. And we're not even talking about if they have a cape. We're not talking about if they have any accessories. Some female characters are extremely hard to get them to stand up. And when they do, their legs are so thin, they start bending. I'm not feeling that with this one. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. But if I had to guess, I would say it's not. This feels like the X-Men 9-7 animated figures. That's the vibe that it gives off to me. So if you do like the feeling of like the way Cyclops came out or Wolverine or the way those 9-7 figures came out where we really didn't have any problems with them, you're going to feel the same way about Ms. Marvel. I can tell you right now. Besides the way the figure feels in terms of quality, there's really not too much new here. We've seen this body sculpt before. We've seen this before. She does have butterfly arms right here on the shoulders, which is something different for a female character for me. I don't remember too many coming out with this feature. I know a lot of Spider-Man figures do, but not really females to my knowledge. I mean, I'm not saying there's none, but it's not a thing. Like, it's not like, oh, every single female has these butterfly things. But I think that's because she's so strong and she flies and you want to put it in as many poses as possible. And I can tell you right now, the joints feel very nice. They feel loose, but not as loose as my Ghost Rider from yesterday. Like my Danny Catch's legs felt very loose. Like he could, when he was trying to stand up, he would start doing a split by himself. Like that's how bad it was for me. I'm not feeling that with this figure right here. I think that this figure is very well made. And for not for nothing, a lot of dudes be like, oh, man, I want, you know, the perfect body for the females. This one was done a little bit different. You know, this is like that Madeline Pryor vibe that we all wanted. You know, if you could take this off, that'd be great. But, you know, can't be mad at this one right here. Out of all the figures that I was looking at for the pre-order a few months ago, I was thinking to myself, this is probably the one that's going to slide past me. I'm probably not going to get my hands on this one. And that was because the pre-order sold out so fast. I was like, damn, man. I'm the and it was a Target exclusive. You know how much we all love exclusives. I mean, come on, who doesn't love an exclusive, right? <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking, yo, I'm not going to get this character right here. So I kind of wrote it off. But I was thinking to myself, if I could get this character, what am I going to do with her? Like, I don't want to make a Dark Avengers. I don't want to make an old school Avengers. To be honest with you, I don't even like the Avengers like that. They're like fifth on my list of teams. So like, what would I do with her? Well, here was my idea from the beginning. I have been thinking to myself, I want to make an X-Men versus Avengers show. And that's something I've been wanting to do for a while. So I'm thinking like, hmm, I can put on the Avengers and then I could use her as a way to show how Rogue got her powers. Usually this is the part in the breakdown or the review where I would pull out a similar character that I already have. But this is one of the characters that I'm getting for the first time in my life. I don't have another Miss Marvel. So let's see, who can I put her side by side with? And this is my answer to that question. Who else am I going to put her up with except the person that's going to put her into a coma? 
let's put it up against rogue so this is my favorite rogue that i have for my collection i think i have three or four rogues but this is the one that does it for me this is my favorite rogue from the uh i think it's the juggernaut builder figure wave if i'm not mistaken this is my favorite rogue right here like i remember when this was going for an arm and a leg but this is still my favorite to this day i'm seeing a lot of similarities when it comes to these figures you know not for nothing even though this is a newer figure and it may have better plastic there's a lot of similarities between these two there's two things that i can see off rip that are different with this one one rogue doesn't have the butterfly arms she doesn't have the butterfly shoulders so that's a different part from the body sculpt and also miss marvel has the calf twist she has the calf swivel besides those two things right there i mean these feet are looking almost the same the calves are looking almost the same they both have the double jointed knees they both have very similar thighs the waist and the torso the chest area all looks very very similar to me i mean i wouldn't be surprised if they reuse a lot of these parts but the quality on the miss marvel is a lot better i can tell you that much and to be honest with you this is the only reason that i wanted this figure the only reason i mean this is not going to be the exact pose but the only reason that i wanted this figure was to demonstrate that she was getting zapped and while rogue is doing this the rest of my x-men are running through the avengers like a hot knife through butter that's what i'm trying to do i really want to take away my infinity war section and see if i could do an x-men versus avengers because i really don't see people doing that i really see people doing like x-men over here avengers over there but I'm like, yeah, what happens if they was going to meet? You know what I'm saying? My very first comic book was X-Men number one, the Jim Lee edition. And I've always been pro-mutant. I feel like mutants are just like uh, the minorities of the Marvel, you know? And I'm a minority in the real world. So, yeah, I identify with the X-Men. I do not identify with a billionaire playboy philanthropist. I don't because I'm none of those things. So that's why my X-Men are going to run through the Avengers, but not for nothing. You know, Miss Marvel is a very good figure to have. She's a figure that I was never really thinking about. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say, oh, man, I always wanted Miss Marvel. Is this figure worth the hype? I mean, ah, man, I don't really know. I think if this would have been going to Walmart, to Target, to GameStop, to Amazon, to Big Bad Toy Store, if it would have been hitting every single market, I don't think this figure would be sold out. I think what happened is they took a figure that has really never been done by Hasbro, to my knowledge. I mean, I know Toy Biz did it um, for the Giant Man wave, but I've never seen Hasbro do it. They took a figure that has never been done and then put it as an exclusive. I can't help but feel like that artificially raised the price on this figure. Now, is it a bad figure? Not at all. This is not a bad figure. But if I would have never got this figure for $24.99, I am not paying anything above $25 for this figure. I'm not even paying $35.40. I can't. It's just, unless you're a diehard Avenger guy, Dark Avenger guy, or you just have this thing with Miss Marvel, then yeah, maybe. But I don't think that a lot of people have that feeling towards Miss Marvel. I just feel like it's an artificial shortage. And that's why she's going for so high. I, I really do. The more I play around with these figures, the more I realize that they may have the same type of body style. And even if the tooling is the same, there's a difference in the quality of the plastic that they're putting out from, I want to say, the beginning of 2024 until now. This plastic feels a lot more stiff. There's times when I've moved Rogue and I felt like, chill, don't break her arm. You know, we need this figure. Um, I haven't felt that way with her. And even if... You know, the dynamics are the same up here. The quality of the plastic is so much different. One thing I just noticed that I messed up on was I said that this one had the cap swivel. This one has like an upper thigh swivel and that one has like a mid thigh swivel, which is not the exact same thing, but it's kind of right there. I mean, you know, if it's going to twist, it's going to twist. Do I care if it's here or do I care if it's down here? I mean, not really. So there are some similarities. This is not the same exact figure. I'm not trying to say that, but this is very close. What I'm trying to say is this is not something that we haven't seen before. We've seen this figure a bunch of times in a bunch of different variations. We just haven't seen it with this getup right here. But I will say that even though this is a shinier plastic, this Miss Marvel seems to be a more durable plastic. And if you have the X-Men 9-7 wave or you have the first Spider-Man wave that came out with Tombstone and Scarlet Spider, that is the exact type of feel that you can expect from this Miss Marvel figure. Yo, really quick before I end this off, is it just me or did they go above and beyond to show that like right here, like it's riding up and showing a little bit of cheek or is it just me? Because the front, it doesn't have that, right? The front goes everywhere. 
And then as you turn around, it's like, but wait a minute, where did that uh, flesh color come from? Are they going out their way to show a little bit of cheek? I'm just saying, I, I haven't seen that before. That's something that has caught me on the end. And I was like, wait a minute, that can't be a mistake. But yeah. All right. So what are my thoughts on this figure? What is the good, bad, and the ugly? Well, this figure is definitely different. It's one that I've never seen before, but only in character. We have seen this figure before as far as tooling, as far as parts, as far as reuse. We've seen this figure a bunch of times, but we don't have Miss Marvel. Is this figure worth the price tag that we're seeing on the internet? Hmm. That's a question. I'm not really sure. Maybe if you're into the Dark Avengers, like I said, maybe if you're trying to complete the whole Avengers, maybe if you're just a Miss Marvel fan, I've never heard of those, but whatever, maybe this is for you. Maybe you want to pay the extra. I got this figure because I paid retail for it. If this would have been anything above that, I would have been more than happy to let this pass because I'm just not with it like that. I'm not trying to pay exaggerated prices. This figure would not be going for the price it's going for if it wasn't a Target exclusive. But then again, they know what they did. But I appreciate everybody coming through to check out this review. I appreciate all the subscribers who logged into the poll and gave me the opinion and told me they wanted to see this one today. I appreciate you guys. And for the next couple of days, you guys already know what I'm doing. The next figure up is gonna be Astonishing X-Men Wolverine. And right after that, Superior Spider-Man. And boy, I did not think that was going to happen like that. I really thought Superior Spider-Man would have took it. But it is what it is. Until next time. Peace.